This is me Nafisa. Today I would like to share basic information about vitamin B9. Let's start with the functions of vitamins. Vitamins are essential to life. Vitamins are necessary to keep us healthy as vitamins help in proper functioning of the human body. There are 13 vitamins. Vitamins A, D, E and K are fat soluble vitamins. Vitamin B complex and vitamin C are water soluble vitamins. There are 8 B complex vitamins. Vitamin B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9 and B12. One of the 8 B complex vitamins is vitamin B9. Common name is vitamin B9 and scientific name is folate or folic acid. Folate was discovered between 1931 and 1943. In 1931, Lucy Wills first observed the health benefits of vitamin B9 while doing research on anemia in pregnant textile workers in Mumbai, India. Vitamin B9 was first isolated from spinach in 1941 and synthesized in pure crystalline form by Bob Stockstart in 1943. Vitamin B9 is an essential micronutrient. Vitamin B9 is required in very small amounts by the human body hence mentioned as micronutrients. Although required in very small quantities by the human body, but their impact on body's health is critical. Vitamin B9 is not produced by humans. That's why we need to get vitamin B9 from the food that we eat. Hence, vitamin B9 is an essential dietary component. Vitamin B9 is not produced by humans. The bacteria that live naturally in the intestines of human beings are known to synthesize vitamin B9. However, vitamin B9 produced by the intestinal bacteria is not sufficient to meet the host's daily requirements. What are the causes of folate deficiency? Unhealthy diet, inadequate dietary intake of folates, digestive disorders, conditions that affect the absorption of folic acid, certain diseases, certain medications, eating overcooked vegetables, enzyme defects that is MTHFR gene mutation. One of the most important reasons for folate deficiency is pregnancy. Pregnancy greatly increases the need for vitamin B9. Another reason is less intake of food or nutrients during pregnancy is nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. Which causes folate deficiency? Vitamin B9 is a water-soluble vitamin. Water-soluble vitamins means dissolves in water and is absorbed and delivered to the body tissues for immediate use. Whatever is needed is utilized by the body. Vitamin B9 is stored for 4 months but in very small amounts. About half of this amount is stored in the liver and the remaining in the blood and body tissues. Excess that is, whatever is not used is excreted out of the body in the urine, so it's unusual to get toxicity. Folic acid is the most effective and safe medicine and is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines for all human beings. Human body uses vitamin B9 to make new cells. Therefore, who all need vitamin B9? All of us or everyone. The first benefit of folic acid is everyone needs folic acid to be healthy and that too folic acid is required throughout our life. In Indian diet we eat everyday dal, chawal, sabzi, roti. Now sabzi or the green vegetables which is eaten everyday has vitamin B9. So next time when you are eating green vegetables remember you are taking vitamin B9. Now do you understand the reason for eating green vegetables every day? Because our body uses vitamin B9 to make new cells which helps us to remain healthy. We said everyone needs vitamin B9 but who needs it more? Pregnant lady. Why? Because pregnant lady means two lives. Vitamin B9 is needed by the pregnant lady for healthy pregnancy and vitamin B9 is needed by the fetus for development of healthy baby. All pregnant women need vitamin B9 and that too every day for full 9 months. 
Hence, the grandmother in the house always advises the pregnant woman to eat one palak bhaji every day. Vitamin B9 should be taken every day by pregnant woman to ensure healthy pregnancy and healthy fetus. During pregnancy, vitamin B9 is the most important vitamin recommended to be taken for at least one month prior to conception that is trying to conceive or intending to become pregnant plus throughout pregnancy and also during the postpartum period. Vitamin B9 is given to women intending to become pregnant in order to maximize the chances of getting pregnant. Vitamin B6, Vitamin B9 and Vitamin B12 play an important role in regulating homocysteine levels. A study found that because of regulated homocysteine levels, better quality embryos were formed and therefore better chances of pregnancy. Also, because of regulated homocysteine levels, this reduces the risk of early pregnancy complications that can lead to miscarriage. Vitamin B9 is important to be taken before and during early pregnancy. If a woman does not take enough folic acid before and during early pregnancy, then the baby's neural tube is not closed properly. Let's learn briefly about neural tube. Neural tube is formed in the first 28 days or in the first 4 weeks of pregnancy. When neural tube closes properly, this continues to form the baby's brain and spinal cord. What will happen if the neural tube is not closed properly? Then baby is at a higher risk for neural tube defects. Neural tube defects are birth defects of the brain or spinal cord. If a woman does not take enough folic acid before and during early pregnancy, the baby is at a higher risk for neural tube defects. These birth defects happen in the first month of pregnancy, often before a woman knows that she is pregnant. So do you understand why we said that folic acid supplementation is important to be taken at least one month prior to getting pregnant? There is no cure for neural tube defects. But folic acid helps prevent birth defects in the brain and spinal cord of the developing baby. Vitamin B9 is required for full 9 months in pregnancy both by the mother and the fetus. In the pregnant lady, Vitamin B9 helps in cell multiplication, therefore helps in rapid growth and development of the placenta. In the fetus, Vitamin B9 helps in cell multiplication, that is from one zygote, fetus is formed. Folic acid or Vitamin B9 will help to make new cells that will form the baby's brain, spine, organs, skin, bones, nails and hair, that is helps in the proper organ development and hence normal growth and development of the fetus. In the pregnant lady, vitamin B9 helps in RBC's production. Hence blood formation takes place and hence prevents anemia. RBC's transports more oxygen, more nutrients to the placenta and uterus of the mother. In the fetus, vitamin B9 helps in RBC's production, therefore blood formation, therefore prevents anemia. RBCs transports more oxygen and more nutrients to the fetus. Vitamin B9 ensures better delivery outcome in the pregnant lady and improves the birth weight of the fetus. In the pregnant lady, vitamin B9 decreases the risk of hyperhomocystinemia, therefore reduces risk of pregnancy complications like miscarriage, preeclampsia, preterm delivery, preterm birth, low birth weight, intrauterine fetal death and hence reduces pregnancy loss. In the fetus, vitamin B9 reduces risk of birth defects such as neural tube defects, cleft lip, cleft palate, congenital heart defects. Now let's learn why postpartum intake of vitamin B9 is important. After a baby is delivered, the mother's body has just gone through a major change and has to heal and return back to its normal state. For healing, new cells have to be formed and vitamin B9 helps in cell multiplication and hence will help in the formation of new cells thus helping her to return back to her normal state. 
when taken as a supplement vitamin b9 passes into the breast milk vitamin b9 helps with the baby's development also vitamin b9 will help in the formation of rbcs thus reduces the risk of anemia because human body cannot make and cannot store vitamin b9 in large amounts so absolutely necessary to get vitamin b9 daily through foods or enriched foods or fortified foods or through supplements to maintain adequate levels in our body and avoid deficiency vitamin b9 deficiency can have a number of health issues in adults and during pregnancy vitamin b9 deficiency can cause pregnancy complications and birth defects all individuals especially pregnant lady should take vitamin b9 rich foods vitamin b9 available naturally is known as folate naturally available means what get directly from the food folate name is derived from the latin word folium which means leaf because it was first isolated from spinach and is found in dark green leafy vegetables folate is naturally present in many foods folates are present in all dark green leafy vegetables like green beans peas okra spinach broccoli lettuce so remember whenever you are eating dark green leafy vegetables remember you are having folates also folate is available in foods like eggs beef liver rice seeds nuts lentils tomato juice citrus fruits and juices like oranges and orange juice lemons grapefruits other fruits that contain folate are strawberry and bananas if an individual or a pregnant lady is eating a healthy varied and a well balanced diet every day or eating folate rich foods every day he or she should be able to get all their daily requirements of vitamin b9 from the diet itself if an individual or a pregnant lady does not get folates from the foods then give man made form of vitamin b9 called as folic acid man made means manufactured in the laboratory or synthetic remember folates is from the foods and folic acid is man made or made in the laboratory two ways of taking folic acid either through fortified foods or through supplements individual or a pregnant lady can get folic acid through fortified foods now what is fortified food vitamins or nutrients are added to certain foods that normally do not have vitamins or nutrients this is what we call it as fortified foods or we can also call it as enriched foods certain breads biscuits contain folic acid though breads and biscuits have folic acid but as per our indian diet not all pregnant women or individuals will eat these and also if they eat they will not eat this every day if a pregnant lady or an individual is not taking folate rich foods or not taking folic acid fortified foods then how will she get vitamin b9 or how will they get vitamin b9 folic acid can be artificially substituted by taking oral capsules tablets tablets or capsules is called as supplements since capsules or tablets or tonics are taken in addition to the food hence called as dietary supplements or nutritional supplements dietary is food and supplements means in addition to nutritional supplement means always give folic acid supplements in addition to the food that we eat dietary supplement in the market is available as a multivitamin please note whenever we use the word folic acid in our future explanations it means folic acid supplementation means go through fortified foods or through supplements now is folate and folic acid the same no folate and folic acid is not the same but i would call them as cousins good thing about folate is it is naturally found in the foods now the question is if folate is naturally available in foods then why are we making folic acid we said folic acid is man made or manufactured 
बिकॉज द बैड थिंग इज फोलिएट इज इन द अनस्टेबल फॉर्म अनस्टेबल और नॉट स्टेबल वेर एज फोलिक एसिड इज इन द स्टेबल फॉर्म फोलिक एसिड इज टेकन एज अ सप्लीमेंट फोलिक एसिड बिकेम पॉपुलर बिकॉज इट इज स्टेबल इन द सप्लीमेंट फॉर्म एंड कैन बी यूज टू फोर्टिफाई फूड्स The folate found naturally in the food is not stable enough to be used in supplements without modification or for fortification. Research shows that our body absorbs folic acid from the fortified foods or dietary supplements much better than the folate that occurs naturally in certain foods. Since folates are very unstable nutrients. hence folates can be lost from the foods during storage what's more folates are also destroyed by cooking we said green leafy vegetables have folates so whenever green leafy vegetables are cooked remember i told you that folates are destroyed by cooking and hence ensure that green leafy vegetables are cooked very lightly that is at a shorter cooking time with less exposure to heat and specially while cooking spinach ensure that the green color is retained vitamin b9 is found as either folate or folic acid revising folate the natural form of vitamin b9 is present only in foods folic acid man made form of vitamin b9 is present in fortified foods and in supplements we said folate is unstable and folic acid is stable both folate and folic acid are in inactive form both folate and folic acid that are taken in must be converted by the human body by mthfr enzyme to l methyl folate different names of l methyl folate and their abbreviations or short forms are as shown here it's just that they are named differently but all these are the same biochemically This L-methyl folate is the active form of vitamin B9. L-methyl folate is what our body uses. Folates or folic acid is important for whom? Now instead of saying folates or folic acid, I will be more specific in saying the active form of folate or folic acid. What is the active form of folate or folic acid? L-methyl folate so i rephrase the sentence l methyl folate is important for whom l methyl folate gives benefits to all individuals for healthy life during pregnancy l methyl folate gives benefits to pregnant women and the baby so can i say as healthy pregnancy and healthy baby instead of saying healthy baby more appropriately i will call it as healthy fetus because the unborn baby in the mother's womb is called as the fetus what is the difference between folates folic acid and l methyl folate folate is unstable folic acid and l methyl folate are stable folate and folic acid are inactive forms and has to be converted in the human body to the active form l methyl folate folic acid is like flour or atta from flour or atta rotis have to be made then eaten whereas l methyl folate is like ready made roti another example is folic acid is like all food ingredients from which food has to be prepared and then eaten whereas l methyl folate is like the ready made food the third point of difference is absorption of folate is lesser as compared to folic acid that is the bioavailability of dietary folate is less than folic acid but l methyl folate is 7 times more bioavailable than folic acid making it a much better and safer option what are the sources of folates only from the food what are the sources of folic acid fortified foods or supplements supplements as in vitamin supplements or multivitamin supplements what are the sources of l methyl folate modern supplements and inside the human body how is l methyl folate formed in the human body let's learn in more detail folic acid is converted to dihydrofolate in the presence of an enzyme dihydrofolate reductase 
Dihydrofolate is converted to tetrahydrofolate in the presence of an enzyme dihydrofolate reductase. Tetrahydrofolate is converted to 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate in presence of an enzyme 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate dehydrogenase. 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate is converted to L-methylfolate in the presence of an enzyme MTHFR. Inactive folic acid taken from the fortified foods or supplements is converted inside the human body to active L-methylfolate. Folic acid has only one glutamate molecule, whereas food folates have tetrahydrofolate attached to glutamate tail. The glutamate tail has to be removed by the enzyme glutamate carboxypeptidase 2, which is located in the lining of the small intestine. And hence, now food folates is in tetrahydrofolate form, this tetrahydrofolate will form 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate in the presence of an enzyme 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate dehydrogenase. 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate is converted to L-methylfolate in the presence of an enzyme MTHFR. Folic acid requires four conversion steps to form the active form L-methylfolate. Folates requires three conversion steps to form L-methylfolate. L-methylfolate can be taken as vitamin supplement. Please understand L-methylfolate is formed in the human body. But when L-methylfolate is given as a vitamin supplement, it is given as a calcium salt of L-methylfolate, which will dissociate as calcium ions and active L-methylfolate ions in the body. L-methylfolate is superior to folic acid. L-methylfolate is the active form, folic acid is in the inactive form. Folic acid requires four conversion steps to become active, whereas L-methylfolate does not require any conversion step to become active. Remember the example I gave you before? Folic acid is like flour from which rotis are to be made and L-methylfolate is the ready-made roti. Because L-methylfolate is in the active form, hence enters the blood circulation directly. Whereas folic acid needs to be converted to L-methylfolate before entering the blood circulation. L-methylfolate is 7 times more bioavailable than folic acid. L-methylfolate has many health benefits. One of the health benefits is, L-methylfolate is the only form of folate to cross the blood-brain barrier. If L-methylfolate crosses the blood-brain barrier, it will influence healthy mood and helps to manage depression. L-methylfolate is not dependent on MTHFR enzyme, whereas folic acid is successfully converted to L-methylfolate by MTHFR enzyme. Now let's learn about MTHFR. Full form of MTHFR is methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase also called as 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. We inherit one gene of MTHFR from each of our parent. That means all of us have two genes of MTHFR. MTHFR gene makes an enzyme methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase or MTHFR. MTHFR enzyme is the most important enzyme. MTHFR enzyme is required for the conversion of 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate to L-methylfolate. In simple words, I want you to remember this sentence now itself. MTHFR is an enzyme. A powerful enzyme that converts inactive food folates or inactive folic acid from fortified foods or supplements to the active form L-methylfolate. If MTHFR enzyme is formed in the human body, then this person is healthy as he can carry out all the bodily functions normally. There are chances that there is a change in the gene. This change in the gene is the gene defect or gene mutation. Now we are talking about gene mutation in MTHFR gene. Hence, this is called as MTHFR gene mutation. Nothing causes you to have MTHFR gene mutation. 
म्यूटेटेड जीन इज पास ऑन फ्रॉम द मदर और द फादर टू द चाइल्ड नाउ हाउ टू फाइंड आउट इफ अ पर्सन इज हैविंग एम टी एच एफ आर जीन म्यूटेशन डू एम टी एच एफ आर जीन टेस्टिंग और द ब्लड टेस्ट डन टू चेक होमोसिस्टीन लेवल्स हाउ मच परसेंटेज ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन हैज एम टी एच एफ आर जीन म्यूटेशन अप्रॉक्सिमेटली फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन हैज एम टी एच एफ आर जीन म्यूटेशन नाउ डिफरेंट टेक्सट बुक्स गिव डिफरेंट परसेंटेजेस बट आई हैव रिकॉर्डेड यूर एज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली फोर्टी परसेंट दीज फोर्टी परसेंट पीपल हु आर हैविंग एम टी एच एफ आर जीन म्यूटेशन विल प्रोड्यूस लेस एम टी एच एफ आर एनजाइम सो वॉट विल हैपन इन दीज फोर्टी परसेंट पीपल इवन इफ दे आर टेकिंग फोलेट फूड्स दैट इज ग्रीन लिफी वेजिटेबल्स स्ट्रॉबेरीज एग्स और इवन इफ दे आर टेकिंग फोलिक एसिड फोर्टिफाइड फूड्स और फोलिक एसिड सप्लीमेंट्स बट बिकॉज दे हैव एम टी एच एफ आर जीन म्यूटेशन सो देर इज लेस एम टी एच एफ आर एनजाइम सो लेस एल मिथाइल फोलेट इज फॉर्म्ड रिजल्टिंग इन एल मिथाइल फोलेट डिफिशियंसी एल मिथाइल फोलेट डिफिशियंसी कॉजेज नंबर ऑफ हेल्थ इश्यूज इन इंडिविजुअल्स एंड ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी एल मिथाइल फोलेट डिफिशियंसी कॉजेज प्रेगनेंसी कॉम्प्लिकेशन इन प्रेगनेंट लेडी एंड बर्थ डिफेक्ट्स इन द फीटस नाउ वी डोंट वॉन्ट हेल्थ इश्यूज इन द अडल्ट नॉर एनी प्रेगनेंसी कॉम्प्लिकेशन नॉर एनी बर्थ डिफेक्ट्स इन द बेबी देन वॉट इज द सोल्यूशन इन पीपल हु आर हैविंग एम टी एच एफ आर जीन म्यूटेशन इंक्रीज फोलेट रिच फूड्स इन दियर डायट और इंक्रीज फोलिक एसिड एनरिच फूड्स और फोलिक एसिड सप्लीमेंट्स बट बिकॉज ऑफ एम टी एच एफ आर जीन म्यूटेशन स्टिल देर विल बी लेस एम टी एच एफ आर एनजाइम एंड लेस एल मिथाइल फोलेट Now let me tell you lifestyle modification and diet changes will not help in people having MTHFR gene mutation so what is the solution give them directly l methyl folate the active form summarizing in individuals who are having proper MTHFR function then take in taking in folate or folic acid is good enough but in individuals who are having mthfr gene mutation then give them l methyl folate directly one more point i would like to mention for people having mthfr gene mutation because of mthfr gene mutation there is less mthfr enzyme only some folic acid is converted to l methyl folate and hence less l methyl folate remaining folic acid is not converted to l methyl folate if it is not converted can i call it as unmetabolized folic acid body cannot use unmetabolized folic acid so it will be passed out of the body through the urine but for that some time that unmetabolized folic acid remains in the body it will cause bad effect only in the nervous system first and foremost unmetabolized folic acid will not cross the blood brain barrier only l methyl folate will cross the blood brain barrier secondly this unmetabolized folic acid will block the absorption of l methyl folate into the brain so it will not even allow l methyl folate to act in the brain whereas in the absence of unmetabolized folic acid l methyl folate will pass into the blood brain barrier which aids in the neurotransmitter synthesis and hence helpful in mood and prevents depression always give l methyl folate along with vitamin b12 l methyl folate therapy for a prolonged period of time may cause a decrease in vitamin b12 levels l methyl folate must not be used alone for anemia if the patient also has vitamin b12 deficiency because this leads to irreversible nerve damage as such it's good to supplement with vitamin b12 as methylcobalamin in pregnancy 